Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be uh, taking few sums or doubts which my students had asked me. Okay, see students already I have uploaded three videos on doubt solving. This is my fourth video. So in case you have not seen, I suggest you see all those uh, videos because it will definitely help you to clear some of your concepts. Okay, chal. Aage badte hai. First sum will appear on your screen. Biggest possible square of the same size are to be drawn in a rectangular auditorium of dimension 36 meter by 20 meter. What should be the area of each square? See there is a rectangular auditorium with length 36 meter and breadth 20 meter. We need to draw squares into this without uh, any wastage of the area. Okay? You have to take a hint by the word biggest in the sum. Students see there is a word biggest, right? Biggest means highest. Highest means SCF. Highest common factor or greatest common divisor. They are saying. So, with that word biggest, we realize we have to find out HCF. So, let's do it 36 and 20. How to find out the HCF? Find out the common factor 4. So, 9's are 5's are 9. They do not have any factor common. So, we cannot take out anything common now. So, 4 is the HCF. If you don't know this, there is another method to find out HCF. First, we need to find out the factors of 36 and factors of 20. Let's do that. 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, 4 into 9, 6 into 6. So, what are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Like this you should write. Okay. So, that you don't miss out anything. And 6 should be taken only once. Don't write it twice. 20 key factors. 1 into 20, 2 into 10, 4 into 5. So they are like this. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Let's find out how many are common. 1 is common. 2 is common. 4 is common. That's it. Which one is highest? 4. So HCF is 4. Which we have found out here also. SCF is 4. What does it mean? That each square side will be 4 meter. From this SCF we have found out the side of those small squares. Okay. Which we will be drawing here. So what is the area? Now it is simple. Area of any square is side square. So 4 meter into 4 meter. That is 16 meter square. This is the answer. This is the answer what they are asking us. Area of each square. Let's go ahead. Next sum will appear on your screen. The area of a rectangle with breadth 8 meter is 15 meter square more than that of a square with side 9 meter. What is the length of the rectangle? Area of the rectangle is dependent on area of the square. So, first we need to find out the area of the square. What is the formula? Side square. So, what is the side they have given us? 9 meter. So, it is 9 meter into 9 meter. That is 81 meter square. Isn't it? Now, they are saying area of rectangle is 15 meter square more than square. So we need to add. So 96 meter square. This is the area of that rectangle. Now our job is very very easy. Now we need to find out the length of the rectangle with the help of this area. What is the formula of an area of a rectangle? Length into breadth. Right? So that is equal to 96. We know the area of rectangle, right? And we know the uh, breadth also. 8 meter. 
लेंथ फाइंड आउट करना है वेरी वेरी इजी लेंथ इज इक्वल टू 96 दिस मल्टीप्लिकेशन बाय 8 इफ वी शिफ्ट इट दैट साइड इट विल बी डिवीजन सो आई हैव रिटन इट डाउन सो लेट्स डू इट 8 वन जार 8 8 वन जार 8 9 में से 8 गया वन बचा सो वन एंड सिक्स सिक्सटीन इज द न्यू नंबर सो एट टू जार सिक्सटीन सो ट्वेल्व मीटर इज द आंसर लेंथ ऑफ दैट रेक्टेंगल इज ट्वेल्व मीटर वेरी वेरी इजी लेट्स गो है नेक्स्ट सब ऑल्सो विल अपियर ऑन योर स्क्रीन हाउ मेनी बेड्स मेजरिंग फोर मीटर बाय सिक्स मीटर कैन बी मेड इन अ फील्ड मेजरिंग सिक्सटीन मीटर बाय ट्वेल्व मीटर See, this is a field rectangle shape में है 16 meter by 12 meter, right? And this इसमें beds बनाने हैं. Means it has to be divided by 4 meter by 6 meter in this shape. Very simple. How to find out area of field upon area of bed? That will give you number of bed. Okay, so let's do it. Both are rectangular. So length into breadth, sixteen into twelve upon four into six. Four ones are four. Four threes are twelve. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Two ones are two. Two eights are sixteen. So one one. So over eight and one. Eight into one is eight. so eight beds can be made or eight divisions or parts can be made in that shape 4 is to 6 very very interesting isn't it chalo let's go ahead the area of a rectangle having breadth of 20 cm is 1200 cm square what is the perimeter of the rectangle students remember perimeter and area are very very closely related if you know the perimeter you can find out the area and vice versa okay so here also we are going to do the same thing right chalo see here they have given area area is how much 1200 cm square and breadth is given that is 20 cm to find out perimeter to find out perimeter what do we require length as well as breadth so let's find out with the help of these two what is the length right length into breadth is area length we don't know breadth we know 20 area also we know 1200 so let's find out length this 20 will go down Let's divide. Zero gaya. Two ones are two. Two six are twelve. And this one zero. Please don't forget this zero. Sixty centimeter is the length. Now we know the breadth as well as length. Is it difficult to find out the perimeter? Not at all. We should know the formula. Two length plus two breadth, or two into length plus breadth. Both are same. So let's do it. Two into length is how much? 60 breadth is 20 let's solve this first 80 so 160 cm this is the perimeter of that rectangle very very easy isn't it let's go ahead the coconut costing rupees 25 is now sold at rupees 30 What is the percentage increase in the price of the per, uh, coconut? Here they are asking indirectly what is the percentage of profit? Okay, how much price has been increased means what? How much is the profit? Okay, चलो start start करते हैं. See original price was twenty five. It was increased to thirty. So how much is increase five? Right, five thirty minus Twenty-five. That is five. So this is the increase. When this was the price, this much is the increase. They are asking us how percentage. 
Percentage means 100. So I am rewriting it here. When the price was 25, increase was 5. Now they are asking us percentage. Means if the price would have been 100, then how much would have been increase? That is their question. Whatever they have written in English, this is the mathematical interpretation of that. Okay. Once you get this, do the cross multiplication. 100 into 5 on top, 25 down. And do the possible divisions. 5 1s are, 5 5s are. 5 1s are, 5 2s are and this 1 0 here. So 20 into 1, that is 20% increase is the answer. Very very easy, one small interpretation and cross multiplication, we have got the answer, right? Let's go ahead. When a shirt is sold for rupees 400, the profit earned 3 upon 8 times the selling price. What is the cost of the shirt? Very very interesting. See students, first see what they have given. They have given selling price as 400 rupees. Right? And they are saying profit is 3 8 times. 3 8 times. Times means into. Selling price. That is 400. Upon 1. If you want you write this upon 1. No need. But to avoid the confusion. So 8 1s are 8. 8 5s are 40 and this 1 0. Now these are 1 1. So upar kya hai? 3 and 50. So 150 is the profit. Once we know the profit, we have to use this formula. They are telling us to find out a uh, CP, cost. Cost is what? SP minus P. Selling price minus profit. If you don't know this, you won't be able to proceed. So you must know this. Okay. Prof SP is 400 minus profit is 150. So answer is 250. 250 rupees is the answer. Cost price of the shirt is rupees 250. Very very easy. Let's go ahead. How many 3 digit numbers less than 300 are there which are divisible by 3 and 5? Students first thing is read the sum properly. What are they saying? 3 and 5 means both. Okay, and 3 and 5 are co-prime numbers because they do not have any factor common. So, here we must find out the LCM of 3 and 5. But as they are co-prime, their LCM will be their product. So, 3 into 5, 15 is going to help us. 15 is nowhere in the sum. But we have to make use of 15 here, not 3 and 5. Okay, please be careful there. And another one is... They are asking how many 3 digit number less than 300. 300 is also a 3 digit number. They want up to 299. 300 is also a multiple of 15. Please be careful there. Okay. That option will be there. You will know what I, I am trying to tell you when we actually solve this sum. Okay. Chalo. Start karte hai. See here 3 digit numbers means from 100 to 299 only they want. Right? So, but now what we are supposed to do? We have to take 299 and divide this by 15 because 3 and 5 means 3 into 5. 15 we have to see because 3 and 5 are co prime, their product will be their LCM. We have to divide by their LCM to the maximum number. But when we are writing 299 here means we are considering numbers from 1 to 299. But we don't want 1 to 299. We want from 100 to 299. Only 3 digit. We must exclude 1 to 99. So, this may say maximum number is 99. Usko bhi hume 15 se divide karna hai. So, let's do it. 15, 1s are 15. 15 9s are 135. Here quotient is important. This is important. 
then 15 6 are 90 this is very simple so this 6 is important what does it mean from 1 these are 1 to 99 these and these are from 1 to 99 this means from 1 to 299 they are there are 19 multiples of 15 and from 1 to 99 there are only 6 multiples of 15 we want only from 100 to 299 so 1 to 299 ka jo number hai usme se 1 to 99 wala mujhe minus karna padega then only the remaining numbers will be from 100 to 299. Please be careful there. So answer is 13. Option 19 will be there as one of the option. 100%. Please don't take that because 19 is the number which will give us multiples of 15 from 1 to 299. Which they are not asking us. We must exclude 1 to 99 which of multiples hai. Wo Reduce karne honge. So there are 6. So we have reduced. 13 is the correct answer. Very very interesting. Isn't it? Students I have tried to cover all the uh, difficulties or most of the difficulties what students had asked me. In case I have missed out on anything please let me know in the comment section. I will definitely try to solve them as soon as possible. Okay. Students. Again I want to tell you there are three more videos on uh, difficulty solving. Please see them. Even there are important questions wale video hai. IT ke bhi hai or maths ke bhi hai. Don't skip them. Please see them. They will definitely help you. Okay. And uh, some of the uh, concepts will be clear for sure. Okay. Students here we are through with this difficulty solving video okay i will come with the next video very very soon till then what are you supposed to do students yes study well and very important thing is enjoy studying bye